when, when we going to space? Cause I'll be doing some things to get on that ship. I can't, mm -mm, I can't take it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Nadula Hair. They sent me another unit to review for you guys. And give me a thumbs up, okay? Because I did both, okay? I did the hair and the makeup quickly. So if you want to see the glueless install and makeup look together, make sure you stay tuned for that. It is also Sip and Slay and your girl don't have a drink today because I'm headed out to lunch. Bottomless mimosas, anyone? I don't even like them, but I'm going to drink them to be extra. <laughs> As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. So like I said, this unit comes to us from Nadula Hair. All the specs of my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. This one's gonna be real easy because we've already done a wig like this before, but this one is also a little bit more affordable for those of us who don't wanna spend a bunch of money on our wigs, okay? We want the looks, but we don't want the price point, okay? Th this one's for you. It does come with the kinky edges, and I will say, I'm not mad at how this hairline is looking. Because the baby hair is matched to hair, it's not given wonky. It's given very much natural. So we're gonna work this out together. First, I need to put on my elastic band I didn't want to have it on my wig while I was washing it you should get the elastic band with your wig so if you don't make sure you tell them the elastic band definitely helps make it more secure but if you do not get an elastic band you can definitely just crisscross the straps in the back if your head is small okay if you got a big head that may not work for you or just tighten them down on the hook that's in the wig and you still should be fine if you want even more security you can use your wig grip why, why can't I get this jag on thing in here hold up I gotta hold on let me focus can't get this dag on thing in the freaking Oh, what's, what's happening? What was I saying? Oh yeah, if you want a little bit more security, you can definitely use your wig grip along with bobby pins or by itself to make sure your wig is not gonna go nowhere, okay? Especially now, cause the weather is real, <laughs> it's real trifling y'all. It's hot, cold, it's windy, there's tornadoes dropping everywhere. I just, I can't. When, when we going to space? Cause I'll be doing some things to get on that ship. I can't, mm -mm, I can't take it. I am using my Mocha 360 powder from the Maybelline Fit Me collection to tint my lace. I'm gonna put that all around the hairline because the knots on this wig are pretty they're pretty noticeable they're not like as big as I've seen on other wigs but they they big enough if you want to use any type of um, concealer products you can definitely do that as well I don't have time for that because I'm late for brunch so <laughs> let me just go ahead and put this wig on and we're gonna do what we do with this one. Oop, that's too loose let me tighten it down look at me I got a little room <laughs> flip it back oh wait a minute this is how we're sitting. Again, that hairline looks pretty good once you move it around. How it's looking right now looks a little janky, but I think once I, you know, get my hairline together, it's gonna look proper. Take this ring off, cause it's catching on my hair. But this is how we are looking. Really cute, I like, I like. The hair is really soft. I did wash it with actual wig shampoo. I know, who am I? <laughs> I didn't have to use dish soap today, even though I still love that, okay? But I had actual wig shampoo, so I went on and used that, because why not? If I have it, I'ma use it. The only reason I wasn't using it, because I didn't have it. I don't really have long ear tabs on this joint, which is fine by me. If I can just pretty much cut that lace off, just like that, it literally cuts. <laughs> right over my ear. So the wig shampoo and the leave-in conditioner detangler that I use really got this wig together and it helped with the smell as well. The smell is definitely strong with this one so you're gonna wanna go in and uh, wash that joint whether with dish soap, wig shampoo, or just regular shampoo, I don't care. And I do know that the hair dries out when you use the dish soap. So you can go in and use conditioner if you want to. That look a little peasy, a little peasy. <laughs> I'm using our Roby mousse around the hairline. The girl is running low, real low. I am not gonna have a bunch of my hairline out, I don't think, but we'll see once I style it. I may change my mind, I don't know. I use a little bit too much of that joint. Is that how I want it? Let me just push it back. All right, I'm gonna wrap it down. Make sure all the hair is back. Wrap it down, to the back, to the back. <laughs> <laughs> this is only a 13 by four, so you don't get a whole bunch of parting space. But I don't really need it because I'm styling this wig. I don't really, I don't really need it. The hair did comb through pretty well when I did the wash. I'm getting some snags on here because again, the hair is drying down and it's a kinky curly wig or their version of a kinky curly wig. So, you know, you gotta 
go with the flow with these type of joints. Focus on those ends, get them snags out. You will get shedding with this wig. I did get shedding when I did the co-wash and I'm getting shedding right now. Ooh, it's like little teeny pieces. I'm using some mousse and I'm also gonna use my dark and lovely curl glaze. So use the mousse first. It's a little bit. I think I did like what, five pumps maybe? I don't know. And then I'm gonna use the curl glaze. Everything is in my Amazon store, so if you need it, you can get it. Again, this is their version of Kinky Curly. It's not really a type four kinky. It may be teetering on 3C, 4A. These glasses are killing me. I'm just gonna put them behind my ear because I don't wanna keep looking crazy. Okay, and that's a very generous observation. Observation, observation, what am I saying? Observation, oh my gosh. <laughs> I blame the Invisalign. <laughs> So yeah, if you like a looser curl, but you still want that kinky curly look, this one could definitely be for you, especially for the price point. Yeah, the hair is just gliding through. Come on, don't, don't embarrass me. I work that product in like that. I don't want the curls to be stringy, so I gotta make sure I go in and clump them. Okay, clump that at the root. Curl it around your finger. This doesn't wanna curl at all. What's going on? I'll just say, don't get in here acting trifling. I feel like I need to put a towel on because I don't want to grease up my dress. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this side off camera and then we'll come back to fuse the hair and then see what this hair is looking like in the end. All right, be right back. Okay, so before you finish up the hair, I need to do a little bit of makeup. Some of y'all been asking me for a makeup routine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with y'all, okay? Now, it ain't gonna be nothing crazy. First, you're gonna put on your, uh, what's it called, your primer. All my makeup will be listed down below, so if you guys wanna get it for yourself, you can definitely do that. I'm not doing too much. I just want a little something so I can pull my look together for lunch. I'm gonna put my glasses on so I get my brows on. That's how I do my fast brows. I gotta put the glasses on, measure them up. Need my eyebrow glue. Y'all see my eyebrows are kind of filling in a little bit. I think that's because of my medication. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna say it is, but I don't really know for sure, so don't quote me on that. Filling the brows in based on my glasses. This is the cat eye look. I don't think I'm gonna wear lashes today, but I am gonna put on a ton of mascara. No concealer under the brows. And this again, this is a quick face. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of foundation. Normally for my five minute face, I don't do foundation, but I'm gonna do a little bit today. Can't even see what I'm doing. That looked like enough, so. Make it enough. What she said, okay. I'm gonna use my concealer. Concealer? <laughs> Should I start calling my concealer Sealy? Concealy? <laughs> concealy? <laughs> okay, a little bit, a little bit here, and a little bit. Here. This is a little updated from the five minute face. This is like the 10 minute face. For my five minute face, I don't do the cheekbone uh, contour, but for the 10 minute face, I'll do it. Why am I not talking? For the 10 minute face, I'll do it. <laughs> buff, buff, buff it in this. And then that. If you don't know, I do have a makeup playlist on my channel. I have all my makeup looks, even my little five minute face or my 10 minute face, all that will be over there, okay? So you can check it out for yourself. The concealer under the eye is definitely what pulls everything <laughs> together. Put a little bit right there, a little bit under that contour like that. Take the foundation brush again, so I don't have any harsh lines. I'm gonna take my damp uh, beauty blender. Just make sure this is all Blend it in, use my powder. I don't got no powder in here, uh-oh. Am I out of powder? I got a little something. Put the powder on the nose, uh-oh. Uh-oh, under the eye. Here we go. Everywhere I put concealer. I'm gonna do a little bit on my brows, just make sure they don't budge. If it's hot outside, I don't know, I haven't been out there yet. <laughs> I'm currently dressing for the occasion, not the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> gonna use my soft focus press powder. I'm gonna put that on my eyes, on my cheeks, and down the sides of my nose. The way I use it is multi-purpose. I use it for everything but what it's supposed to be for. It's a finishing powder. <laughs> Get a different brush, use it on the sides of my nose. Get that contour in there. It's a struggle doing this in the mirror this far away because even though it's right here, I still have trouble seeing that. But because I've done my makeup so much, I know pretty much where everything is on my face. So you know, I just kinda hope for the best. That's, that's kinda where I am. And under the chin. Oh no, 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 no. Take this, my other Real Technique duster. Just dust that off my face, highlight under the eyes. Ooh yeah. Take my setting spray, bask in the ambience real quick. Mm. Ooh, my mirror. No lashes today. A Little bit of highlight on my inner corner. 
a little bit down the center of my nose, the rest on the top of the lip. Highlight on my cheeks. Use this dark brown on the outer corner of my eye, the outer V. Give it a little lift since I'm not wearing um, falsies. A little bit more mascara on the outer corner. Glasses back on, I hope it looks good. Now let's finish out the hair. I do wanna fluff it out. Where's my pick? From the root, like that. Go under, like this. This side is a little shorter than this side, isn't it? Maybe just me, maybe I'm seeing things, I don't know. Bring it to the back, take that out. Take the wrap off, bring it down some. Put the glasses over top the lace. She is ashy, so let's go ahead and fix that with the contour. Ooh, that might be too much. I'm not too worried about the side because my hair more than likely will be down. But if I do pin it up, I can just hide it with the curls or go back and blend the lace in. Brush it back. Brush it down. Ooh, I got like 10 minutes. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna use a little bit of my gel. Just right here in the front. Just a little bit, kind of lay that down. Bring the hair back down. And blow dry this on warm and high to finish fluffing it out. Scrunch it up, shake the hair a little bit. Using a curl cream definitely gives me a more defined first day wear, where normally I like my curly waves to look like, you know, they've been lived in for quite some time. Okay, put on my jewelry really quick. Let me use some of my perfume oil. It's a little dupe for another very high price one, and I ain't wanna pay the price for the other one, so. <laughs> do I need any more mascara? I feel like I do, but I'm not gonna do it. Put the lip gloss on. Okay, pull the hair and we are done. Okay y'all, so this is a finished look. I think it's really pretty. If you don't mind not spending a bunch of money on a higher quality wig, you can definitely check out this one. It's nothing wrong with this wig whatsoever. I don't have no issues for this one, especially in this price point. The curls are really nice. They took my products really well. They're not super kinky, but they're giving you kinky enough if you don't like the, you know, the tight curly wigs. Now, even though I consider Nadula Hair to be a fast fashion wig company, they did give you a nice little hairline with the kinky edges. It's not overly done with the edges. It just makes sense. I could definitely go in and blend my lace a little bit better, but but again, I don't feel like it, I'm in the rush, so you know, ignore it. It doesn't feel stringy or itchy, but it does shed a little bit. This is the other one that I did recently that's a more high quality kinky curly wig. No shade to Nadula. They know what they offer for the price point, okay? You can already see the difference in the curl pattern. But this look is gorgeous, the hair fluffs out really well. I can already tell it can fluff a lot bigger if I choose to, but I think this right here is pretty good. I like, I like this y'all, I do like it. I do feel like this side looks a lot better than this side though. I feel like my layers are different. I don't know and I don't care, I gotta go. <laughs> But that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Nadula Hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and any coupon codes I have for this unit down below. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.